We got Jay Scanderbrite. Good evening, guys. Yeah. Well, if you remember, um, here here is the what the before picture. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow! Look at look at all those cats hanging out. No, but I mean, the like, that, yeah, that, that, the, that was the that was the before that was the before picture. Look at the, the, wow. The, 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 the electrical tape, and there was a. There's, if you notice right in, in there, there's a, a, an XT60 plugged in because the wire coming off the flight control wasn't long enough, so they made an extension right. cord for that. And uh, so I've got, I've, I'm just going to kind of uh, go through some of these. This is a picture of that same quad now with all the new guts in it. Nice. So what you have here is, a, is the brand new flight controller out on the arms. Oh mm -hmm. no! Wait a minute. This, this was no. This is still. This no, is the this five is, inch. This is your. This, this is your. Uh, this your is the schizo. five inch schizo. Yeah. yeah. This is your schizo, right? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this is the schizo. Uh, and I took some of these pictures before I put the top plates on them because otherwise you wouldn't see it. Right. That yeah. was. Uh, this. Still, that's the schizo. I cleaned up. I did cleaned up some of the dirt around here. You know, it showed up pretty good. That's 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 the. Uh, it's got all new wires and capacitors, and there's the 800 milliwatt. Uh, VTX yeah, you know, to use uh, that on its own little uh, its own little stack there. Uh, there's a there it is with the battery Built. ready to go. Built. This is me uh, oh, putting the, the uh, yeah with the LEDs. They light up. You gave us a uh, watch preview. Oh, that's cool. Can you make them do like a red, white, and blue? Uh... I can make them do all kinds of things, but the but but it, uh -oh. they're, they're very very tedious to program. Oh, and <laughs> and and right then now I have them it. just I just have them lighting up green, and I and I only have green half of good. them lighting up because <laughs> there's so many of them that they and they draw about fifty milliamps a piece. That you got to be very careful. You don't you don't draw so much off of the BEC in the flight controller. That oh, so it, your happening. camera and, and other things stop working. So I, I think I got a good balance of light and action in there. Sounds good. But these, this is this like is rush uh, this is the new the new setup. And I'm telling you, man, this is an like, iFlight what? A, a, an iFlight Success F405 okay. controller, the same got exact it. controller that it comes in all of the iFlight. Uh, Ready to fly, the nozzles oh, okay. and everything. It's a great, great flight controller. Um, nice. So this like is uh, this is the the tank, and uh, there's the LEDs on the arms. That's cool. There's hmm. your whole fleet. There's your there's your little uh, acrobrat. acrobrat. There's your schizo. There's your armaton, and your Jap two little Lure. things. Now the Japalura. Remember, one of them worked great. One of them worked mediocre. Right. I haven't I haven't fooled any more with that one. I uh, let me let me show you. Don't, a don't little tell bit me about bad the things. Acrobrat. No, no, I okay. I did. Uh, there it is. I just wanted to show it to you. I did put the whole new flight controller in it. It's right. got the Rush Tiny tank in it. The VTX that was in there was a little TBS Nano, and it was shot. It was terrible. So I I had a I had one here. I put it in there for you. Interestingly enough, and I don't know if you know this or not, but on the on the Armiton, you had an Crappy antenna that antenna. looks that looked like yes. that. I think that's bootleg, though. No, but it doesn't matter. This one here. Do you know the difference between RP? an SMA yes. and an RP SMA? SMA has the pin. Has the pin in here, Correct. and the hole. In there. In there. An right. RP for reverse polarity has the pin in the socket right. and the little hole in here. Well, when I got the the Armiton quad, it had an RP SMA antenna with no pin on a quad with no pin. So basically, you had no antenna. Nice. Uh -huh. 
Well, there you, you understand? go. There, there was no yep, pin yep. In, in either, connected, in either right. side. So the antenna that you had, the, it looked like this, but it was an RPSMA. So I don't know if you tried to fly it like that or not, but if you, that might have been one of the reasons why the video transmitter was. was no, but there was also there. lines. Yeah, it, it ruined really because if you run these, if you run these VTXs with no, uh, with no um, antenna burn. on them, they they they, they can yeah. they can overheat. Now we just have to every test one, fly them, right? Every one of them. Yeah, I'm going to test fly them. Every one of them has uh, Betaflight 4.2.2. 4.2.2. Okay. And uh, it has. Uh, uh, the ESCs are all flashed with, uh, I don't know if this means anything to you, with, with the uh, BL Heli 3.7.1, which is the first version of BL Heli software for the ESCs that actually has a bi-directional D-shot built into it. Yeah, and then that would be stopped. So you're recording now, and you can just record all this stuff, because I'll edit out what I want. All right, so let's plug in the plug in the quad here. <coughs> Set it out here, away from away from <coughs> danger. <coughs> so we should be ready to go. So I'm going to put it into angle mode, and we're just going to see if it hovers. First thing I do is I rock it a little bit to make sure everything's going in the right direction. Air mode. 
that causes it to bounce like that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Everything is working, see? Seems to be working correctly. Wind's blowing away from us. 